<clears throat> Don't want to overstay my welcome. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. I'm sorry. Oh. Well, look who it is. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <laughs> Lead on, then. With pleasure. <laughs> Something wrong? It's nothing. <sighs> you can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time. And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Want to see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. <laughs> oh. Let's do this. It's over. <laughs> I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. <laughs> 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 Let's go. What's that? A big arm. Kind of cute, don't you think? Uh... Oh, great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. <sighs> I wonder if we can use this. Idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Give me a sec! 
And here comes the ladder! Well, what did I tell ya? You did it! Yeah. Uh... Hmm? Alright, good enough. Let's keep on trucking. Hmm. Stop. Did we wake it up? Get ready. Oh, that's weird. There used to be more food here. Looks like a dead end. Hey, I bet you can grab that container with the arm. Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? Yeah? Huh? Uh... Hmm. Oh no, look. Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. Okay, Cloud! Ready! Jumping's not an option, that's for sure. Hmm. Look. Hmm? Someone made a campfire. They found a way down. So can we. Whoa. Not too fast, okay? Got it. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Hmm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit! Doing crimes! <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages. <laughs> Can't move in a, a composite. I don't get it. Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> compensatory damages is like, uh, oh. it's like compensation <gasps> for damages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you, no, when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. We were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. Okay, what do you want? Nothing. 
nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> due recompense! Due recompense! Due, due recompense? Uh, no shit, for brains. Due recompense. It's like, uh, uh it's like, uh, 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 Compensatory damages! Oh, so damages recompense! I can't <laughs> I think we've heard enough. Okay, guys, whatever you do, don't move. Don't look. Just don't look. I'm dead. I'm super dead. Wait, you guys! Don't leave me! I'm coming! Random question, but why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Oh. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm, got it? for you in a sec. That went pretty well. Sure did. <laughs> huh? huh? Wait a minute. Did you just... Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? Hold it right there, Lumber! Right, we made it! Smell the fresh air?
All right, there it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for- Up there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! You know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh yeah? Soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <clears throat> Gotta look forward, not back. long <sighs> ready <sighs> want to get to sector 7 in style this is the passageway for you Okay, getting home? And if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <sighs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies, and it's safer too. <laughs> Guess this is it then. Ready? Yeah. Going on. Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh, no, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. 
She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. Come on! Okay. Come on, Cloud! We gotta hurry! Hey there! Where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... What's all the ruckus out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl here? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well, she's in great shape. Is that really important? Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? What are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <laughs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. Relaxation, the sweet embrace of pretty ladies. Shaped like everybody's favorite chosen. Oh. To enter or not to enter, that is the question. Wherefore does this philosophical quandary torment me? You totally get where I'm coming from, right? <laughs> I knew it! Let me guess, after you've had your fun, you fall into a spiral of shame and self-loathing. But it only lasts a moment, doesn't it? Next thing you know, you're right back here again. Huh? Got a question for me? Seen Tifa around? Tifa? My love? My light? Who are you and how do you know her? No, shut up. I don't care. Keep us here? Why? Tell me why! Oh god, no. I did this to her, didn't I? She came looking for me to beg me not to leave her. <gasps> Snap out of it, Johnny. Your Tifa needs you! Tifa, I'm coming, baby! Who was that? Nobody you want or need to know. Check it out. I think we might have found our man, and he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Wall Market. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. 
especially men. How about me then? Can I go inside? Maybe, but you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madam M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Aerith. You sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the way it is, hmm? Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But, to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. Stupid! Crawl into a hole and die! Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram! Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty, please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time we'll be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Cornell will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Guess right, and I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. No thanks. Oh, not a gambler, huh? I am! Heads! Huh? Hmm? Hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, and not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. I feel guilty. <laughs> what is supposed to go mm -hmm. down this like the this? Place? I think so. Just wanted to see Andrea. Let me handle this. We wait out here, okay? Then why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. I am but a bee, fluttering the back Wow. <laughs> Good
Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years?! All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes, well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. There's something down my at this place. It's like I've got a brand new body. Oh, Johnny's been had. She's a siren, I tell you. This must be the place. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm hmm We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don Cooper. Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Uh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services, then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well? <laughs> hmm. Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back. And wait. Cloud? <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. First, the hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. Oh, oh. oh did that hurt? No. <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation and get that blood flowing. 
No, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? Uh, uh. If that was to your liking, do come again. Right. How was it? Huh? You okay? Yeah. You're acting weird, Cloud. I am? Really weird. Hmm. Think you'll make a habit of it? Then, I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. Sure you're okay? Yeah. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm? Okay. But, you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? The matter what I think? Well, I think it's pretty cool. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? Hmm. <laughs> You just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence. The doors are now open for tonight's Please enter from the right and continue from the left. What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should. Hey! Lovebirds! 
Over here! In the city that never sleeps, in the paradise of debauchery it's in, the pain and pleasure, where your every desire can be indulged for the right price. Who all must you is Dean Connoisseurs of Chaos and Bloodshed. We bid you the warmest of welcome. Are you sitting comfortably? Or tonight, the most crucial spectacle anywhere in Walmart or beyond shall be yours to witness here in the Corneo Coliseum! Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gil, and there's only one way to get it. Brutalize your opponents, thoroughly and utterly, viciously, without mercy, until they have it blind. Only the most ruthless fighters, the savages still standing here at the end, shall claim the gil and the glory. And now, the long awaited adventure with the Blood Star Beast will battle for your amusement in the corner! Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes! And tonight, Corneo Time! Wow, this place is really something. <laughs> uh, it's not your turn yet. Your names will be announced over the speaker. Just wait until then. Oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know? So I signed up for the preliminaries and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. It's a gift from Don Corneo. Drink it, and they say you'll be raring to go for hours on end. If I had, maybe things would have gone differently for me. Maybe you should. It's yours if you want. How is it? It's thick. But you like it so much you couldn't possibly share, right? You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. For our next match, we welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talking about a bad day? Well, this is their first tournament, the bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! One of Wall Market's own, a renowned master of beasts! Will his pets make a meal of our two challengers before our very eyes? They've already been given their appetizers! Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable! The demon talks of hell! The Sanguine Stalkers! Let's play beast! You brought animals? Oh, first timers, huh? There's no rule that says you gotta fight man to man. We're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink. Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now! Get ready. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Can you believe it? I don't think anyone saw this coming! What a completely unexpected turn of events! And the winners of our match are Cloud and Eren!
Well, that's one win down. Go team! Hmm. What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah. Wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. Well, that was some bullshit. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. For the second match in our spectacular semifinals, fresh from their first date with death, I present the lucky couple. We're like unlucky for the rest of us. Give it up once again for Cloud and Eric. Couple of my ears. I hell you two try to pull. You assholes cost me a fortune. Yeah, yeah. Their opponents, reavers in this backyard, thieves and killers through and through. Too criminal for common criminals, the worst of the worst! Ladies and gentlemen, check your pockets, because they may have already robbed you blind! The most contemptible sons of bitches inside of Walmart Bex Benefits! of the Corneo Cup semi-final. Begin oh, now! Enough. This is A heartbreak is believable! What the hell did I just see? It was two against, uh, I don't remember how many exactly, but a lot! But somehow, the winners of our match are... Once again, Cloud and Aaron! That kid's really something. Well, of course he is. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. <laughs> so have half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Cloud. 
Cloud and Aerith. The final match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. Does this mean I don't gossip like dead no more? Damn, you two are really something else. I could use that kind of muscle in my gang. So hungry. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Corneo Cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go! <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the plane! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts who've surprised us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Eric! Yeah! Come on now! Come on! You can do better than that! And now, five time winners of the Corneo Cup! Murder machines with countless kills to their name! Along with a handful of maimings! The deadly duo that takes out the trash with a vengeance! The electric executioners! Chocobo Sam's champions! Cutting and sweeping! Come on out! Robots? More like shimmer armor. More like cheating! <laughs> Who will walk away with a one million bill prize? Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history! The, the final, final match, match of the Corneo Cup, Cup begins now! Taking this rather low. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. When you bet it all on a toss, sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course, even if they are both the same. <laughs> Later. And now. I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry, the madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute. His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madam M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People were placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal! Don't you think I know that?! Ah! You greedy bastard! Scum-sucking piece of shit-festering asshole! Uh... 
<sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Well then, you sure fixed my wagon. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps! Hope your next match is even better than the last! Ready to kick ass? It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all! Show them what you got! Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we shared your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one Don Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order! Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far, Cloud and Aaron! Buried in the bowels of the Coliseum. An unspeakable horror, long in prison, set free tonight for your entertainment! The secret star of Don Corneo's stellar stable! Enter the Hell House! Can you take over for me? 
I'm waiting. Oh, what's this? They all switch a room? <laughs> usual, the Hell House is up to no good. <laughs> Try it. in some What will you do? <laughs> there you are. I've been looking for you two. So Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good, and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. Congratulations on winning the tournament. You're an impressive fighter. I know that you'll be a great influence on my Johnny. Why, you might even end up having a friendly rivalry. You can spur each other to greater heights. I can see it. You two will become great friends. The best of friends. Ha ha ha. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. I'm told you did a wonderful job helping the people of Sector 5. <laughs> you have a very impressive work ethic. It's like they say, good things come to those who work. What goes around comes around, and in ways that might surprise you. <laughs> I'm gonna put Aerith in the most gorgeous dress you've ever seen. <laughs> It'll be a real jaw-dropper. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. There ought to be things you can only do without your friend. Now's your chance to get out and have some fun. <laughs> I can tell you're already beginning to feel at home here. Though being so new to it, I assumed you still wouldn't know how to enjoy yourself properly. <laughs> so I went and had a chat with Sam. He said he'd be happy to help you out. Hey, no one asked you to do that. But there's so much you don't know. This is the perfect opportunity for you to learn the ways of the world and man the hell up. And that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch! Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. Howdy. Madam M said you'd be swinging by. Let me see if I've got this straight. You ditched your lady friend and fellow champion to have a boys' night out in the wall market? Uh. Kidding. If I know the madam, 
and I do. This was all her idea. I can see why. There's no denying you're skilled with a sword, but when it comes to damn near anything else, well, can't help but have my doubts. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but then there's nothing wrong with expanding your horizons neither, seeking new experiences. Knowing the ways of this here world will help you to better protect her while you're in it. Reckon I got a few solid gigs for you. What do you say? You game? Huh. <sighs> yeah. Why not? <laughs> That's the spirit. You have yourself a grand time tonight, Mr. Merck. Welcome. Anything in particular you're looking for? Oh, you must be the Merc I've been hearing about. I need you to help me out with my dad. His drunk ass has been at the bar for hours now. Could you bring him back here? He's probably three sheets in over at Drunkard's. <laughs> Just over there. Wait up, Cloud! Sam caught me up on everything. He said you are gonna go rescue Tifa. And to do that, you're trying to learn all about Walmart. Bro, I know this town like the back of my hand, so I can answer all of your questions. Now, let's go knock this one out. The bar is this way, Cloud. Drunkards, here we come. Uh, are we won. even allowed the to walk through eat, the door? The it's Red mostly the same folks every night, so... Whoa, you just waltz in there uninvited. Listen, there are rules for this kind of... Hey, wait for me! Hey, old dude! Huh? Son, is that you? Did you always look so... moronic? Well, right back at you. Yeah, whatever. We're here to take you back to the store. I'm not going back! Not ever! My life is ruined! It's over! Kill me now! Come on, there's no need to talk like that, old dude. I'll help you out with whatever you need. Really? Oh, thank you, son! See, I made this bet with the Materia Merchant. A sure thing, but then I lost! And so I had no choice but to steal my heart and surrender my precious inspiration! Your precious insp... who with the what now? Inspiration! <laughs> Without it, there's simply no point in me ever going back to the store. Got it. I mean, I don't got it, but I just need to get your inspiration back, right? Whatever the hell that is. Leave it to me, old dude. Uh, hey, aren't you gonna go with your friend? This is my jam. It's basic. Chocobo bean popcorn here. Shaped like everybody's favorite chocobo. And a while they're hot. Never seen you before. <laughs> Cloud, been waiting for you to show up. Thanks for coming. And welcome to our humble training hall. Jules, head trainer. If you've got some time to spare, how about a little bit of fun? Want to try taking on one of our guys? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Look at him! He's a scrawny little thing. I can snap him like a twig. Now, now. I wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. So, you up for a round? Ha! You're taking me on? You look like a dried up old terpsichore left out in the sun. You got no idea what you're getting into, little man. All right, enough talk. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way. A squat off. Now, let's all see what you've got. Now don't go crying to mommy. <laughs> yeah. You've got this, come on! Your form's looking good! I knew you could do it! That's how it's done! Not bad at all! Your form's looking good! I knew you could do it! You've got this, come on! That's how it's done! Your form's looking good! I knew you could do it! You've got this, come on! Not bad at all! That's how it's done! 
Your form's looking good. You got yeah. this. Come on. I knew you could do it. That's how it's done. You got yeah. this. Come on. Not bad at all. Your form's looking good. You got this. Come on. I knew you could do it. Not bad at all. That's yeah. how it's done. I knew you could do it. Your form's yeah. looking good. Not bad at all. You got this. Come on. I knew you could do it. Not bad at all. That's how it's done. Your form's looking good. I knew you could. That's how it's done. Not bad at all. You got this. Come on. That's yeah. how it's done. Your form's looking good. Not yeah. bad at all. I knew you could do it. Is that it? How? How the hell did I lose to this scrawny little kid who looks like he doesn't even consume his daily recommended amount of protein? Ronnie, you know it's all about quality, not mass. You're too quick to judge people by their build. That and your overtrained ego are the main reasons you lost to our bold challenger here. Thanks for helping me teach my boys a valuable lesson. And sorry for dragging you into it. Cloud, we're all one big family here at this gym. And now you're part of it. If you're ever up for training, our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain healthy minds and bodies. Yeah! Endurance and determination, that's what counts. I don't even really know how people use Mateo. Hey, wait for me! Huh. So this is it, huh? And what do you two want? Uh, uh, I'm here for the precious inspiration you took from the old dude. Inspiration? Oh, that thing. But I didn't take it. I want it fair and square. It's mine by rights now. Well, that's true. But I tell you what, I'll consider giving it back in exchange for a favor. Uh, what you need? Something only real men can deliver. Uh. I need you to go and get me something from the vending machine at the inn. You know what, you know. No, I don't think I... Wait, the sauce. The sauce? Stop saying the sauce. Anyway, good luck. The time has come for me to wield my powers of assessment. I can feel it. Oh, -ho, I can Ooh. feel it. I'm in for one wild oh, ride. I'm going to see some weird shit tonight. Right off. Right off. I have the perfect, right perfect room for the both of you. Just say the word and I'll show you to it. Huh? No, no, no. We're not here for that. Say what? If you don't need a room, then what the hell do you want? I wish I was here with Tifa. No offense, bro. That's it. That's the one. It looks like a regular old vending machine, right? But wait! Haha. <laughs> you ready for this? Alright. This particular model has secret buttons. Where? Well, I can't tell you. It's a secret. You just need to tap into your knowledge and expertise. Like, grab it and whip it out. And then you'll be able to see everything. I don't need to whip it out. I've done this before. Watch this. Whoa, look at you, bro. Huh? Is this the sauce? I don't know. Come on, bro. You know there are more hidden buttons waiting to be pushed. Oh, so this is the sauce. Neato, it, it's time. The last button. The sauce! Put it away! Put it away before someone sees you! No one can know that we have it! You're the grand prize winner! Have a special prize! Ah, ah, ah. Don't scare me like that! Whatever! We got what we came here for! Let's get out of here and head to the Materia guy! Uh, you know, everyone looking at me. <laughs> 
what it feels like to be a chance. Come on, you guys. Welcome to the world of tomorrow. <laughs> Any Relax, man. Relax. Come on, bro. Hurry up. <laughs> Let's show him what we brought back from our little trip in. Oh, it's you two. It's time, bro. The sauce. Could it be? Oh, it is. The sauce. The sauce. Whoa. Never thought I'd live to see the day. It's just sauce. No big deal. Don't sell yourself short. This is only given to one who is truly a man among men. Huh. I know. Damn, bro. That's why you're such an awesome dude. Oh, right. Hate to break it to you, but that thing you were looking for? Not here. It's long, long gone. You shitting me? Nope. Sorry. As I recall, the guy who runs the restaurant should have it. Ugh! Well, I guess we know where we're headed next. Come on, bro. Well, that's that. Time to polish the old orbs. Give them a spit shine so they positively sparkle. Hey, if you're done here, then get going already. Restaurant up next, huh? Uh, getting kind of hungry, actually. Oh, no. I think it's coming from over there. No, nope. uh, we have work to do first. Let's see what's on the menu today. Hey, wait for me! I still don't know what I want to order yet! Welcome! Feel free to take any open seats. Sorry, we're not here to eat. The Materia guy gave you something, yeah? We want it. Materia guy? Oh, you hear about that? I'm surprised. Didn't take you for the type. Let me ask you something. Either of you know anything about cooking? Nope, never cooked once. That's too bad. For some reason, my food doesn't taste nearly as good as it used to. I was hoping one of you two might be able to help me figure it out. I've narrowed it down to the fridge, the stove, or the power supply. But I'm not sure what's to blame. Man, I seriously have no idea what it could be. This sucks. You know... Your fridge might be broken. Maybe it's not keeping the ingredients cold enough. That's so. You're an expert on all things ice? Okay then. Let's see if we can't fix this by fiddling with the temperature. Now that's crisp and fresh. Can't wait to cook with all these great ingredients. Here, eat up. Man, this looks great. Stomach pain. Oh god. It's coming up. Nothing makes the cook's heart sing like seeing a customer's too stuffed to walk. Can't thank you enough. Oh, and here's a voucher along with my gratitude. Get the poor guy some medicine, will you? Drugs. I need all the drugs right now. Out of the way. Out of the goddamn way. No, no, I can't. Eat them two at a time and their flavor will change. I'm telling you folks, Goodbye. you ain't never seen crew or <laughs> Hey, all by door stuff, you bum. You're scaring away my customers. Sanctuary. Hey, you. This yours? Well. Oh, that a voucher you got there? Should have said something sooner. Come on in. What is it with today? People are dropping like flies. Besides this dumbass? Ah, loads of them. I got enough outstanding orders to fill a book. I was about to leave and make some deliveries. I'm gonna I can't very well leave him alone now, can I? Hey, you're not doing much. Maybe you can deliver that medicine for me. You're what? Military or something, right? Then you must know a thing or two about dealing with the sick and injured. You're a lifesaver, literally. So, let me see. What needs delivery? Here. I need you to deliver these three. 
You'll probably find this guy sprawled out on the ground somewhere, but make sure you check his symptoms before giving him meds. I've got meds. Let me take a look at you. <laughs> that did the trick. I'm telling you, man, my insides were so backed up. I thought for sure I was gonna pop like a balloon. How'd you do that, anyhow? You some kind of doctor? Mercenary. Well, whatever you are, I seriously owe you. That chef's putting some crazy-ass spices in his food or something. Thanks, man. You're the best. Wait, what the... Where the hell am I? Hey, bro! This ain't no place to hang out. You feel me? Ain't nobody gonna give a shit if you get your throat cut here. I'll be able to walk real soon. Just, uh, give me a minute. I think this is where they said to me. And then there was this crazy-looking house, right? And it was all, like, trying to kill him. But then Cloud was all like, bam, bam, boom! Your friend fought a house. A house? Oh, hey! Welcome back, bro! Better already? Yeah, now he won't shut up. Anyway, how did deliveries go? I did about as much as I could. That's fair. Still, if you can find the time to deliver the rest, you'd be doing me a pretty big favor. Anyway, I promise to be worth your while. Here, I got something you're definitely gonna like. What is it? Well, it belonged to the owner of the clothing store first. Heard from the cook that you boys been running all over town looking for this. Am I right? Wait, we have? Hold up. What were we doing before all this? Oh shit! The inspiration! Bingo! You see, all us Walmart and entrepreneurs go way back. We get together for a game every night, bet all kinds of stuff. This found its way into the pool and eventually into my possession, and now it's yours, cause hey, why the hell not? It's a VIP card, highly coveted and extremely rare. They're only given to a select few. Not having it is gonna do you much good, but... Holy mother of... no way! Bro, we gotta get to the honey... Er, I, I, I mean drunkards on the double! Tell the old man I said hi! Come on, come on, come on! I gotta and know! I just one. You Morty still got the inspiration, right? Rest you didn't lose it? Bean popcorn. My heart is beating so fast, bro. Like it's gonna burst right out of my chest. Hey, old dude, we're back! Huh? Who are you? You're no son of mine, I think. Special delivery, just for you. Ho oh, ho! My inspiration! You've returned to me at long last! Yo, is that what I think it is? Oh, you bet it is! And it was hard won! I sewed dresses day and night for those ladies until I got what I was after! A Honeybee in VIP card! I knew it! Now make way for the VIP, boys! I don't want to keep my ladies waiting any longer! But first, I should pick up a gift dress! Lead the way, old dude! We are coming! <sighs> Chocobo Bean Popcorn here! <sighs> well, thanks for bringing him back. Can't imagine what you went through. Here, you earned it. Hey, you're coming, right, bro? Get ready for a real Walmart education. I'm done with this. You, you can do whatever the hell you want. I get it, bro. You're scared. It's only natural for people to fear the unknown. Uh. It's a pity you're not gonna join us, but I swear to you, bro, as an aspiring Walmart connoisseur, 
I'm gonna go in there and get as much inspiration as I can handle. For you, bro. For you. Because, Cloud, you are my one true bro. Honeybee in, here I come! Inspiration, here I come! <sighs> Perfect example of how age has absolutely nothing to do with maturity. Couldn't agree more. Should probably go see Sam again. So, tell me, what'd you see in our little enclave of Sam and debauchery? Bet it was an eye-opening experience. Nothing I haven't seen before. That it for jobs? Not exactly. I got one more favor to ask. You want to get teeth out, right? What's your angle? <laughs> Just get your ass to the Coliseum. You'll see. We've been waiting for you, champ! Stands are packed thanks to you. Now get out there and give them a show! Lovers of bloodshed and mayhem, your favorite champion, Cloud, is back in the ring! Right now, this boy may be hot, hot, hot! But look out, folks, because these dynamite challengers may just blow the champ clean off his throne! I hope you brought shades because you're about to see some fireworks! Fighters, begin! <laughs> Let's be smart. Say goodbye. The reigning champ does it again! Was that hot enough for you, fight fans? Did the champ bring the heat? Indeed he did! He proved there's nothing more explosive than the guns he's packing! Nice going, champ. You were in fine form today. Here's your cut. You earned it. Not here for the cash. Tell me about Tifa. Ah, Tifa. She's something of a bombshell herself, huh? Girl keeps in shape, and boy, does it show. Hey. Just making an observation, that's all. Anyway, seems like you're serious about getting the poor girl out of her predicament. I could tell easy enough by the way you fought back there. Cut to the chase. Well, you helping or not? Never said I would. Opposite, even. Getting mixed up in other people's business hidden my way. Plus, as you are now, I reckon you could ride to a rescue without anybody's help. And that's the truth. You've changed since you first rolled into this here town. For the better. <laughs> At any rate, I've said all I'm gonna say. Your lady friend ought to be done changing by now, am I right? She ain't no Tifa, but she is a firecracker. Keep her waiting too long and she might just blow up in your face. Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro! I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that ah. I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. I think 
So like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I get your delicious materia pops. The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Bam, bam, whoosh, whoosh. You know? I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. So, bro, do you have any advice for a smart stand-up guy like myself? No. Oh, come on, bro! Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir! Again. Got that letter of approval you mentioned. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. This dress is so gaudy and impossible to move in. Uh, uh, yeah. Cloud? Uh, uh, excuse me. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition. No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Don't be like that. You're still the most beautiful girl in the world. Hey there, cutie. Where are you headed? Why don't you let me buy you a cup of coffee? I give her a beautiful edge. That dress is completely overshadowed. She's more like the beautiful flower that blooms. Why are we here? To see the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. 
You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you want to save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madam M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. the man of the hour chosen by Andrea himself our honored guest come on come on the show's about to start oh. <laughs> my my is that cloud mm. darling I had no idea <laughs> <laughs> you? Now you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, he's flushing. Sweet here at the honey bee in every moment is a tree. Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval, do you? Oh, I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. You can follow my lead.
Nice moves! <laughs> I love it! <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I'm in love. Yes. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! Without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid. That show today blew my mind. Hey, look at me! I can dance too. How much did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. How about it was you amazing. Drink? You talk. Was it planned from the start? Probably not. Oh, Did you see exactly their look of surprise? Please don't. Not a word. Not even one? No! But you're so pretty! Such beauty! There you go again. Stop looking at other girls. I only do it to get a bean popcorn here. Am I dead? Did these beautiful angels come for me? Whoa. That is one hot chick. from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madame M's girl, ain't it? And she's hot. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Room's at the end. Keep walking. Huh? 
What's that weird, sweet smell? And why do I feel so dizzy? Gas. Uh, uh? Come on. Damn it. Cloud. I know, thank you. Moving on. You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. Hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aaron, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks. Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no! Not until I've got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized, I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. But tonight's audition's about to begin! Head out the door to the left and up the stairs! Come on, ladies! Let's hustle! Alright, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? Beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. Hmm. Hmm? Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Cornejo. 
Ladies? Uh... Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? <laughs> oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! I've got it! I've got it! Today's bride to be is... Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm going to enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. Leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all coming with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests! And y'all got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Good day! Oh! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Hmm. Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, you stupid! Oh, wait! <laughs> Good job, Eric. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with you. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Better hurry. Man, I love to spend some quality time because of that. Bet they're going at it right now. Lucky bastard. What are you doing here? You got here? this. I got hey, this. Hey, to the right. Run! <laughs> Ah, you feel this! You... You bastard! That wasn't so bad.
<laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> yes, yes I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Nah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. You know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crashing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. When they think they've already won, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner! You get an all-expenses-paid trip to the sewers. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs>